Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to an American Truck Simulator video. I am FTG Full Tilt Gaming, and today is all about the Cheetah Tank Master, this containment trailer here for the Open Beta 1.32 and above. If you want to, you know, want to be able to drive this one through one, it's not going to work. So at least if you're in the Open Beta, or if you're uh, this video is finding you a little bit later on, and you've actually searched for this and found it, then welcome. Uh, and also, this is at least should work through 132 and then to future updates as well uh, as ATS, the American Truck Sim community, and the money community grow. So, first and foremost, go ahead and like, go ahead and subscribe. We're going to take a look at this thing exactly what options you got. We're going to at least pick up a trailer uh, and then actually. Um, I'm going to pull this thing around out of the parking lot and get a good camera views out of this thing and uh, and see what it's got to offer. And that way you guys can make an informed decision on whether or not this is something that you would like to add to your arsenal of trailer, uh, of owned fleet of trailers, I guess I should say, for American Truck Sims. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Well, here we are, uh, the main screen here with American Truck Sim. Uh, just because it's spinning around in front of a special shout out there to Mr. Paulie's custom skins. You guys know he does all those wonderful, wonderful skins and stuff. And he's been doing some stuff here for uh, the Full Tilt Logistics uh, United Logistics Group, which I have certain appreciation there for him to do that. So you're looking at the 900 Bs, the truck that we'll be pulling some of our containment trailers with tonight. So. If you're already in the 1.32 open beta, uh, then go ahead and go up to trailer dealers. Now, I've got, already got a couple. Now, I've got some things here in testing, which a uh, little surprise there. Um, and then, well, actually, you know, I've got, yeah, I've got that one, uh, drop deck. And look at this one. Oh, ooh, we are testing that one. All right, so the Cheetah Tank Master Simples uh, is what this one's under. Now, this is just north, nothing more than containment. So go ahead and click this. And go through. There's not really a lot of customization because this is kind of a one-and-done trailer, but it's something that you can own. And there are a few things that if you're a little bit savvy with Photoshop and know how to open up mods and uh, all of that, you'll be able to, uh, to to be able to customize this a little bit. So it's just one style of trailer. There's no real big-time, huge uh, different variations of this trailer since it's really hauling one particular load. Um, chassis are obviously the same. Now, the cool thing is this is a nice um, it is a nice upgrade here, so you can uh, do the tag axles on this as well. So this is automatic and manual tag axles, which is pretty slick. And you do have a couple of already built-in skins. Now, these skins come out of the freight company. So if you want to just haul this as freight... Put it in as standalone trailer, so you don't really want to buy it and transfer the cargo. You just want to be able to just do it like that. Uh, it works in both ways. So if you want to do, um, uh, if you want to actually own it and just haul the containers, you can do. Or if you just want to do freight and just pick up a trailer, move it from point A to B, and then pick up something else, you certainly can. So you got these three companies here: uh, Tank Services and Agmark and uh, Dana. And you can also custom color. So we're just going to custom color this bad boy. Uh, I gotta always get my blues. My blues aren't quite right, um, so let's. Uh, I don't. I don't like it to be too. Uh, yeah, there you go. Let, let's let's try that. that. That's pretty good. All right, I'm not gonna spend any time on that <laughs> whatsoever. All right, so well, let's go ahead and look here. You got chrome and you've got basically this white. Now you can actually color these. Um, they are in DDS files, very easy to see. So you can color these up if you want to do some custom colors. So you've got company colors or a YouTuber. You've got company, I mean, you've got custom uh, YouTuber stuff. And then you've got a Chrome version, which is very nice. So we'll leave the Chrome version on there. And you've also got mud flaps. Uh, so you got five different ones. You got no logos. So if you want to go the gray uh, and you want to be able to add your own company stuff in here on top of the Chrome, you certainly can. You've also got the Tank Services Inc. You got Kenworth and you've got Peterbilt. Now these obviously can all be edited to accommodate for a few different ones. So if that's you don't like Peterbilt and say you like pulling a Freightliner, we'll go grab you a P, uh, Freightliner logo and slap it on there, uh, save it up in your DDS format and roll on. So we're going to leave uh, the Tank Services Inc. Now the one of the new mods that just came out here was the uh, trailer wheels from the Smarties Wheel Pack. So now all of all of the trailer wheels that come in Smarties Wheel Pack are actually uh, you can put them right on here. So it's pretty slick. So we'll add this in, um, and then you can add anything else you want. Now, I've, I've actually got a ton of wheels in here because I've got two different wheel packs for trailers and all these, at least for tires. Not necessarily for wheels, but I have them for tires. But this one right here, this Goodyear HSA, this one is one that we'd run a lot. And this is one that I usually will run, uh, especially on a lot of my uh, American style trucks, you know, your Kenworths and Peterbilts. Freightliners will run Goodyear, Continental, Continental, Continental good Lord. Uh, so either one of those. So we'll go and do that. I'm going to add in, uh, I do like this five, the handhold design here. We'll add that in. 
Uh, we'll change our tire up to match up with the Goodyear's. So there you go. So now you got Goodyear tires and custom chrome. Now, I just have not done these. I cannot have these since these are only for uh, the truck. I cannot put these wheels on the back of the trailer yet unless they decide to update that. So just, you know, keep that in the back of your mind. Confirm it. And then we're going to purchase it. And then we're going to throw it here in our, uh, we're going to throw it in our Phoenix garage. All right. So there we go. So let's exit out of all of this. And then we're going to drive. We've already got one set up. And basically, what's exactly the same you can see here. We've got a truck and trailer all up there instead of that. If you're just doing freight market, all that would go away. And you just have uh, the regular truck sitting up there. At least if you didn't have a garage with you. We'll let this load in. Yeah. 